Neo Inc. is a Chinese electric vehicle company that is listed on the New York Stock Exchange under the sticker symbol NIO. The company went public on September 12, 2018, with an initial public offering of 160 million shares in America and raised about a billion dollars through that public offering. Now remember, whenever you buy a Chinese company in the New York Stock Exchange or any other stock exchange in USA, you are actually not buying the shares of the company themselves because Chinese companies do not list directly to the US stock market. They list themselves through what is known as shell companies and NIO is no exception. A shell company is an entity that is registered somewhere else rather than China and that shell company own a portion of that Chinese company on paper and you buy and sell the shares of that shell company. Now so far we do not actually know that in case of if Chinese government want to hold a particular company liable for something or want to make that company go out of business how much power and legal stand those shell companies will have over the actual company. So investing in Chinese company through US stock market could be a kind of gamble that we do not know what the end result might be. But that doesn't mean that it can't be a good investment overall. Some of the people that I respect very much do invest in Chinese company through US stock market like Charlie Munger invested in Alibaba. So I'm not discounting the fact that Chinese companies can be very good investment. In fact, Chinese companies as a whole do trade at a lower multiple compared to the US stock market and compared to many other places in the world. I just wanted to make sure you know that how usually a Chinese company get listed in USA. Currently, Neo Inc. is trading at $9.33 and that gives Neo Inc. a market cap of a bit over $16 billion. Now, Neo is a company that doesn't earn money yet and still have a market cap of $16 billion. Now, if you see the relative performance of Neo compared to the H&P 500 for past 12 months, Neo has done quite poorly. Now, when it comes about the two reasons why I am bearish on Neo Inc., it's actually very simple. The first reason why I am bearish on Neo is that Neo have a crazy valuation. We already know that Neo have a market cap of over sixteen billion dollar and doesn't earn money. Now, if you go through the market cap of few other car manufacturers that actually earn money then we can have some idea how car manufacturers in general trade at the market. General Motors have a market cap of around $55 billion. GM alongside with Ford are two biggest car manufacturers in the USA and Ford have a market cap of around $48 billion. Now if we see Japanese car manufacturers, Toyota is the largest car manufacturer in the world it produce and sell around 10 million cars each year and Toyota have a market cap of around 225 billion dollar and Honda which is another Japanese car manufacturer have a market cap of a bit over 47 billion dollar. Now these are the companies that earn money. Now if we go through some of the electric vehicle manufacturer we can see the discrepancy there like Tesla have a market cap of over $656 billion. In fact, Tesla's market cap is almost three times as much as the market cap of Toyota, the largest car manufacturer in the world. Now, another electric vehicle manufacturer in the USA is Lucid Group. Lucid Group have a market cap of $16 billion. So Lucid is kind of comparable to Neo when it comes about market cap. Now, if we go through the electric vehicle manufacturer in China, the largest electric vehicle manufacturer in China is BYD. BYD have a market cap of around $100 billion. Now, we know that NIO have a market cap around $16 billion. 
The second reason why I am bearish on NEO is competition. The automotive industry is a highly competitive market and it has been like that for decades and it actually shows up in the balance sheet in form of profit margin. Car manufacturers historically have a very low profit margin. Like in 2022, the industry had a profit margin of around 4.5%. And there are years where the whole industry have a profit margin of 1 or 2 or even negative. And that means that earning money in this sector is very, very hard. Even the legacy companies with proven business models struggle at time to do so. And this startup will have to compete with those legacy companies. Now, a lot of people think that it is the other way around. They think that it is the legacy companies who will have to play the catch-up game. But I do not think so. I believe that the legacy companies have an advantage. There is one thing that they have that will be really, really crucial. And that is scale. For example, Toyota produce 10 million cars a year. And when they will switch to electric completely, I don't think that their production will go down. I think they will be able to maintain the production of the amount of car they produce. And if they do so, just think about that. How long will it take for Tesla or for a startup like Neo to be able to produce 10 million cars? 10 years? 15 years? But Toyota can do it now. All they have to do is produce electric vehicle instead of combustion engine. And I think they can do that. And same will be true for all other legacy company. So I do think it's the other way around. It's not the case that the legacy companies will have to play the catch up game because they are late in the game. Now when it comes about automotive sector, the amount of revenue the whole sector was generating in 2022 was close to three trillion dollar so if you believe that the amount of revenue that automotive sector will generate will double by 2030 the revenue will be six trillion and even if we agree that the profit margin will be 10 percent then we are talking about a profit of around 600 billion dollar So if you do agree that given 8 to 10 years, the amount of money that automotive sector will be able to earn will be $600 billion, how much money out of that will NEO make? How much money out of that will Toyota make? I would argue that companies like Toyota, Volkswagen, Ford, Honda will still take the bigger portion of that $600 billion earning compared to Tesla, NEO, or Lucid. And if that's the case, then why these companies deserve this kind of market cap given the fact if you buy Toyota or Ford now, you'll get paid in form of dividend every quarter. And companies like Ford have a dividend yield of around 5%. Thanks for watching. If you found value in this video, then consider like and sharing. If you want to see videos like this, then consider subscribing. If you have any stock in mind that you want me to evaluate, please let me know in the comment section. Talk to you next time.